You're finally visiting Scotland and you decide to go see one of the beautiful lakes. See all the green and enjoy the nature. When you see a beautiful horse near the water, as you touch the horse, you find that your skin has become attached to the horse and it starts to drag you into the water, but you can't get away. Welcome to Misty Mysteries, and now officially True Crime and Paranormal Podcast. On Sunday, I will be covering a paranormal topic, and on Wednesday, I cover an unsolved or missing persons case. On my True Crime episodes, I always bring you a true crime fact, but on here, I'll bring you a paranormal, scary movie fact, or talk about a superstition. This week's fact is paranormal is used for a wide range of topics, from aliens, Bigfoots, ghosts, to clairvoyance. Many believe that paranormal means ghost, but it's used to describe things beyond the scope of normal science. This week, I'll be talking about the Kelpie legends. Have you heard of Anchor? Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. When I started Misty Mysteries, I didn't know where to go, and Anchor helped me get Misty Mysteries started without charging me an arm and a leg. Anchor is really my suggestion for anyone looking to start a podcast. It has tools that allow you to record and edit in app or on the website. Anchor distributes your podcast on all the listening places such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Good Pods, and all your favorite listening places. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place and best of all it's totally free on anchor fm and on the anchor app kelpie also known as a water kelpie a water horse is a shape-shifting aquatic spirit that can be found near lakes and rivers in scotland and ireland kelpies appear in different shapes the first and most common is in the shape of a black horse. The horse will have a wet mane with seaweed and a sticky hide. In horse shape, it is thought to attract children who want to play with it or travelers. When the children or travelers pet the water horse, they'll find themselves wanting to ride it, but when they climb on, their skin will adhere to the horse, leaving them stuck. The water horse will then ride the children or travelers into the water, drowning them and eating them, spitting pieces of them onto the shore. In horse shape, it's so that they can stretch their backs as long as they want to carry many travelers and that they make a sound like thunder with tails that scare travelers. If a storm is coming, travelers can hear the kelpies wailing and howling from the water. Kelpies can also take the form of handsome young men and beautiful young women to trick men and women into the water to their deaths. The Kelpie in human form, hair will be wet with seaweed. It cannot get rid of its hoofs and will remain in human form with hoofs. The Kelpies may also take a form of a hairy man who will lurk in and by the water. It will then jump out at an unsuspecting person and crush them to death an almost vice-like grip. It's believed that the idea of the devil having hoofs in the Christian religions may actually come from the Kelpies having hoofs in human form. Kelpies are also thought to have the power to conjure up a flood in order to sweep a person into their death. A famous story about the Kelpie is about 10 children. The Kelpie had lured nine of the children who wanted to play But when the tenth child stroked the nose of the Kelpie, he managed to realize what was happening when his fingers got stuck. He knew it was too late. The child managed to cut his own fingers off, freeing himself and running from the Kelpie before the Kelpie rode the other nine children off into the water to their watery graves. The child is not the only one to encounter a Kelpie and live. A tale of a blacksmith and his family has been told. The blacksmith and his family were being terrorized by a kelpie night after night. The water horse caused trouble on his land, and the blacksmith knew he needed to do something to protect his family. He built a strong fire one night with two iron spears. He waited for when the water horse arrived to cause trouble. 
He stabbed the water horse with the two hot iron spears. It turned into a pile of water and foam. The Kelpies have a weak spot. If someone is to get a hold of the Kelpie's brittle, they would have command over the Kelpie. A captive Kelpie is said to have the strength of ten horses and the stanima of more. The McGregor clan is believed to have a Kelpie's brittle that they pass from generation to generation. One of the ancestors got the brittle from the Kelpie near the Loch Schlod, which is a lake. Loch means lake uh, for Americans listening. So Lake Schlod, by having command over a Kelpie, isn't a good idea. It's believed that a Kelpie's brittle comes with a curse. A Scottish lord wanted to build a castle for himself and his family, but he didn't want to pay money for people to come and work for him. He came up with the idea to go and try to find and take command of a water Kelpie to carry all the stones he needed for his castle up a hill, as it said that the Kelpies have the power of ten horses. But his wife was terrified and told him, The Kelpie will cast a spell on us. He went with his idea anyways. That day, he boarded up all the doors and windows, besides one window near the front door. And he put a cross at the top of the door. His wife hid under their bed, terrified, while he watched the water, waiting for nightfall with a knife on his belt. He hid behind a rock, and he waited till the Kelpie was most vulnerable, then cut the brittle off of the Kelpie and ran towards the house. The man having the Kelpie's brittle, the Kelpie couldn't go back to the water and chased him home. The man jumped into the window, and when the Kelpie tried to rush the front door, it screamed at the side of the cross. The man closed the only open window and ran up the stairs of his home. The Kelpie wanted to get its brittle back, so it ran circles around the man's house. This is when the man yelled down to the Kelpie, I will give you back your brittle when you carry all the stones up the hill on your back. Not being able to get back to the water without the brittle, the Kelpie carried the stones up the hill. Over the months, the man made the Kelpie work until it grew thin, weak, and lost all gleam of hope in its eyes. Barely making it up the hill with the last stone, the man was satisfied and he and he placed the burden back on the Kelpie. He kicked the water Kelpie, telling it to go home. With all its strength, it screamed so loud you could hear it across the land, cursing the man and his family, and then plunged back into the water. The man built his castle, where his wife died shortly after it was finished. His son died in a horrible accident, and his daughter kept giving birth to sick children. The man grew old and senile in his castle. His family line died out due to the curse, but his story and the story of his curse never did. If you're ever in Scotland or Ireland, and you see a black horse on the shore of a lake or a river, be aware it's best to stay away. Thank you for listening to this new segment of Misty Mysteries. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and this is your first episode listening, I have true crime episodes that come out every Wednesday. If you like this podcast, please leave a good review on Podchasers and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the podcast on podcast streaming services such as Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and so many more. You can find all links to my sources and my podcast social media accounts in the episode description. I'd like to thank you for listening again, and I'll see you on Wednesday.